just can't keep living this way So starting today I'm breaking out of this cage Hey everybody, day number two for the pre-op liquid diet. I've been doing okay. I actually kept myself really busy today. I spent two to three hours in my kids' room throwing toys away and getting their room clean and my back is killing me for it. My arm is killing, my shoulder's killing me, um, but it's kept me distracted. So uh, sometime after lunch, I got back into the living room and I started cleaning the living room. So I've been kind of doing a deep clean, cleaning the walls. I've just been keeping myself distracted. So that's something that's very good if you feel like you just can't handle it. Go and distract yourself. I distracted by cleaning um, and it worked really well because today went by really fast and I wasn't paying attention to time. I wasn't paying attention to any hunger. Um, my head hunger was gone for a little while today, so I was doing really well. Um, so all I've had really today is um, Crystal Light juices, and I've just been sipping on that throughout the day. Um, I've had actually, not sipping, that's a lie. I've had actually about three bottles worth of Crystal Light because um, it was really hot and humid around here, and I just had to keep drinking. So um, I just filled up my Pepsi. Uh, my Pepsi uh, jug is about this big, um, full of ice water, and I'll be sipping through a, uh, out the night with that. I'm doing okay, and tomorrow I'll be a lot more distracted again, so tomorrow I shouldn't have any problems thinking about it. I won't be around food. I will be driving, and I will be driving a long ways. I'm going to go stay at a friend's house, and I'll probably do my last update at their house. They're YouTubers as well. Um, my friend that I'm staying with, she's getting the gastric bypass, but she's doing it here locally in California, and she is um, near LA, so I'm gonna be going to stay with her, and um, we'll just chat up storms and have some fun before I leave towards Mexico. Um, I'm gonna go through stats real quick and then I'm gonna go through um, how, how I'm feeling about this. Uh, stats are, my highest weight was 245. I was pregnant with my son and just after I was pregnant I started losing weight again. I got down to 220 and I've been at 220, between 215 and 220 for 10 years and I, I haven't been able to get, uh, lose any weight. So after four years of trying to uh, get the lap band and then moving on to the uh, sleeve, you can find my story on my very first video if you wanna hear more of the details about that. So my pre-op diet starting weight was 219. I'm officially down to 208 today thanks to the pre-op diet and starving myself. <laughs> It's pretty much that. You're pretty much starving yourself, so it's easy to lose weight when you're not eating. But I am officially down to 208, so that makes it 11 pounds, guys. 11 pounds. And I've stayed there all day today. I haven't fluctuated since yesterday, so I can see that I'm on my way down. I'm hoping by next week after the surgery, I'm down uh, in Wonderland. So we'll see. Um, I hear the the less weight you have to lose the harder it is so i'm going to be starting running i'm going to be starting um, walking a lot that's my goal especially when the kids are in school drop them off at school and go take a walk or run my goal also is to get from a couch to 5k and um that's one of my goals to do so um i have to work my way up there so this is really exciting um, I'm feeling really nervous right now and I've waited so long for this. Um, I'm very emotional about it. Number one, I don't have any food in me to eat for comfort food. So I'm portraying my feelings on camera right now. Um, the long waits. <laughs> Over. And I'm finally here change my life I know this will be a good thing it's gonna be worth the pain and I'm gonna keep telling myself that mind over matter guys mind over matter I'm a strong person I've had lots of battles in my life I've had um, two c-sections I've had a gallbladder removal 
I've had surgeries before. I've gotten two car accidents. So I know what it is to feel pain. <laughs> so this may, I don't, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but this may be a cakewalk for me compared to what I've been through. <laughs> And having gallstones, God, I felt like I was dying. I swore I was dying. I ended up in the emergency room thinking it was a heart attack. That was painful. So I've been through it. I've been through it all. And I'm thinking this is just another scar on my body that I can say how far I've gone and how, where I've been. And it's just going to be another battle scar I could talk about that I'm okay with having. It's very emotional for me. Um, I'm not eating my emotions right now, so I'm just bawling. Anyway, so today's been quite a good day. I'm doing really well. I'm very impressed with myself. I didn't think I was this strong, but yes, I did. You know what? No, yes, I did. I knew I was a strong person. I'm a strong person, and I'm gonna continue staying strong up here. And that would be nice to have this turn into this too physically here and this physically that would be nice anyway now i'm just rambling on i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thumbs up if you did leave comments down below oh and good luck to sleeve for tink tomorrow i know you're gonna do awesome sleeve for tink i know her surgery is july 1st tomorrow so i'm keeping you in my thoughts and prayers as you go through a life-changing event. I can't wait to see your updates um, and see how things are going for you. And we will see you all tomorrow. And I will be meeting a few people out at Mexico that I kind of met on Facebook. So hello to you guys as well. Um, I really appreciate you guys with your love and support in the Facebook groups uh, through a lighter me Facebook group. So we'll see you all tomorrow. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao.